Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. I, I, I don't think that I've ever done something like this before. And if I have, it was probably a very long time ago in this channel. But today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. <laughs> so this is actually, I've been waiting for like a month to open this. Uh, I ordered it maybe, I don't remember when, but I thought it would be something cool to do in the channel, but I guess to do a little recap, because I don't know how many of you will know what this is. Um, around 2005, when Star Wars Revenge of the Sith was released in theaters, um, Burger King issued like this Happy Meal toy collection, um, you know, as Burger King and McDonald's would do. They, it was basically like a collection of the figures from all the movies because this was back then going to be, you know, the last Star Wars movie ever. Um, that was before, you know, Disney purchased Lucasfilm and all that, all that happened. Yeah, these uh, figures, like little tiny figures, um, were being, you know, distributed in Happy Meals and Burger King. I don't know if they're called Happy Meals still, or I don't know what they're called anymore, but what I, I, I do remember is that these figures, this, this, this collection of toys became so popular, specifically because a lot of them are really difficult to get. And you know, that happens from my memories, that happened a lot, you know, with various different um, toy lines in, um, in, in these fast foods and whatnot. But, you know, ultimately, these Star Wars figures were just, as a kid, you know, I tried so hard to get the ones that were, you know, the more rare ones, but I never could, you know, I, I, I went to Burger King a lot and I would just always seem to get the 3PO and I, which I still have to this day, but it's deep in my closet and I don't feel like getting it. But, but ultimately, you know, this, this drive of wanting a lot of these collectibles never really went away. And so now, 16 or 17 years later, I finally got these, um, these collectibles that I always wanted and more because I happened to come across a little lot on eBay. Um, they're really inexpensive now, which is kind of surprising given that they're basically becoming vintage um, Burger King toys. And today I finally get to fulfill that one of those uh, childhood dreams of mine. That seems to be uh, the theme in my channel lately, but I thought it would be a great thing to to showcase in my channel. You know, I was originally going to just get these for myself, for my own collection, but let's uh, let's include this. Let's let's do something different, right? So let's go ahead and open these up. I am really excited, though I've waited so long that my excitement has um, you know calmed a little bit. Uh, but I let me just get kind of like a b-roll here because yeah crazy what the f was this all right so i'm i'm not gonna show you the box because um well it's they used some sort of i don't know it's like one of those subscription boxes from people stuff people get i don't know it you know this this was not like an actual dedicated seller this was just somebody randomly selling something but yeah let's go ahead and open this I'm actually quite nervous because I've never done something like this in my channel. You know, because uh, it's one of those parts of me that I'm not... Oh, wait, I have it. I have to open this better. I have this, like, really bad knife. Yeah, you know, I've always been in heavily into collectibles, but it's just been one of those things about myself that for some reason I've never been super comfortable in sharing with other people. I'm not sure why, but, you know... I made a point in my life where I don't really care anymore. Alright, so this should be open now. Boxy. I don't know what this is, but... Alright. Here's the grand 
unveiling of the toys. This is, I've, I've never seen these toys. Like I used to see them. I think I had friends in school that had them and maybe I saw them in like the display cases at Burger King, but I've never actually held these toys. So this is going to be um, interesting. Okay, so they are um, wrapped up very nicely. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh, wow. <laughs> cool. Check that out. Major props for the seller for, you know, packing this up properly. But, all right. So I guess I'll just show you in orders in, in order of importance because um, I haven't actually said which of these are the ones that mean the most. So I guess we'll start with um, with this one right here. <laughs> this is a uh, Java. Uh, I'm I'm unsure what the uh, what the special thing about these are because each of them has like a special thing that they do I'm, none of these all of these are open so I have no idea and maybe some of them make sounds but because they're like 17 years old they don't oh wait yeah this this battery might be dead it was just fine I don't really care yeah let me just I mean uh, how much can you see it all right I don't know how much you can see that but this is the first one. It's Java the Hut. I don't know what it does, but it has a button on the back. Yeah, it has this, like this lever, but I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. And it has like a hole in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out. It doesn't do anything. So I'll just put this to the side. So yeah, that's the first one. Let's move on to the second, which... Um, is uh, Luke Skywalker, and I know exactly what this one does, but... This one is like the 3PO, which I have, and it's basically, you look through it, and it's supposed to give you pictures of, like, the movies. Yeah, right there. So, you look through that, and I wish I could show you, but I don't think the camera will pick it up. And, and it has this like little slider and you can switch between pictures. So we've got Luke with Yoda. It's like a kaleidoscope. Is that what you call it? Kaleidoscope? It's interesting because uh, the each one of them has different pictures. So the pictures on the 3PO are different. So I'm seeing these for the first time. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Luke from episode six. No, 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 five. Episode 5. Cool. Alright, now jumping into the more interesting ones. I'm gonna show you this one. Let me put it together, because I don't know why the seller didn't put them together. Alright, so the next one, and I I forgot this one even existed when I before I ordered them, but it's Han Zolo um, in his like what was, it, what was this thing called? Freeze freezing chamber? I forgot the name. Yeah, when, when he was, you know, frozen by uh, Darth Vader. And, but the cool thing is that you can open this and out comes Han Solo himself. Um, this one has like a little winding thing in the back. And I think, oh, I th so this one vibrates. And basically, I think the point is, because you can put him in this box, right? And you can unwind him from the back. And I'm guessing that's supposed to be like almost him shaking out of the freezing chamber thing. Cool, that's awesome. Check it out. himself. That's so cool. These are gonna look sick on display. And then, 
last but not least, pretty much the reason why I got all of this. Let me put it together, because again, the seller, I don't know. Wow, this is awesome. Finally, having this toy. Actually, let's not call it toys. It's a collectible. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, I'm kidding. It's a, it is a toy. Right. So the whole reason why I got this and why I oddly waited 16 to 17 years to finally get my hands on it. No, not just Vader. Vader and Anakin inside. So, yes, this one was my dream collectible from this Burger King line when I was a kid. Um, I wanted it so badly. I went to Burger King, I don't know how many times to try and get it, and I never could because this one was one of the rare ones, if not the most rare out of all. So, here it is. Oddly enough, it's so cheap on eBay. I'm really not sure why, because this is, you know, this is Star Wars history right here. But yeah, let me just give you a close up. So here it is. And what's cool about it is that it has, even the freaking shell has movement. Um, and then you open it and out comes Anakin. And the cool thing is that um, it's just the figure. That's the whole point of it. You know? There's no special thing about it. It's just the conversion of Anakin into Darth Vader. That is so cool. So uh, that just about does it. I mean, here it is. I'll show you all of them. So I've got Java, Darth, uh, Darth Vader slash Anakin. Luke from episode 5, and then Han Solo in and out of the freezing chamber, or whatever it was called. Star Wars fans, please do not <laughs> condemn me because I don't remember. I know you won't, but uh, yeah. I wish I could show you my 3PO, but honestly, if I go explore my closet to try and find it, we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> but it feels so cool to finally have these. Again, I don't really know why I waited so long, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, at least better li late than never, right? I know I did not disinfect these because they've been sitting in my corner over here for like a month. So I'm pretty sure they're whatever virus is on it. If there was any, it's dead by now. Ooh, this is, these toys are so light that any little bad move I make, it's gonna, they're gonna fall. So here they are all. In order um, so we got the Darth Vader shell with, with the Anakin that goes inside it and the Han Solo I left them inside because you know whatever but um, Luke back here and Java that is so awesome yeah I wish I had something I guess bigger to show them all but that's just that's as uh, that's as much as you're gonna get probably but yes, th th I think this is a, a better order right here. But poor Luke, he's just hiding back there. There you go. I'm so happy to finally have these. I'm gonna set them up on my display over here. Though I don't know how because I'm running out of space in my um, display corner. But yes, um, that just about does it for this video. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. I know this is very different, probably unexpected. Although I did say I did want to explore that whole collectibles thing. Yeah, I I, I really am excited about this. I, I love collectibles, especially the ones um, that mean a lot to me or that are somehow from, you know, nostalgic to me. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments, you know, what you thought. You know if you have any collectibles or, or any memories with these kinds of collectibles and also you know if there's anything in particular that you're interested in seeing uh, i do have a p.o box in case anybody you know has any of these and maybe you want to send them over i don't know 
if, if you find the P.O. box below, then feel free to um, send something. And uh, yeah, awesome. This one is obviously my favorite one because it's the one I always wanted as a kid. And it's just so weird to finally have it. It's totally not what I expect it to be. So yeah, that's, that's really cool. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, as always, and if you're not, then I encourage you to try and get through what's left of it because tomorrow always has a possibility of being better. So I will see you later, everyone, and <laughs> may the fourth or may the force uh, be with you. It surely is with me today. Yay! Ugh, I'm geeking out. Okay, I'm gonna go um, set these up. Alright, goodbye everyone. <laughs>